Hi folks and welcome to the Old Faithful Bathtub that is Skip Barber and we are here at the Hockenheim Ring but we are on one of the shorter layouts which is very fun. Just be warned about people coming out of the pits because this is turn one right here and you can see the pit lane exit is right on the, on the racing line so if you're coming out of the pits be warned. If a guy's coming out of the pits and you're racing be warned. Yes. So let's get into this info for you. 45% track usage. As always, I always use that in all my track guides. And track temp of a cool 67 Fahrenheit. So degrees will be above my head. So just be careful and uh, just have a double check of what you're racing with in your sessions. It's a morning session in June, July, whenever it is. It's the same time as the uh, the race setup anyway. So yeah, just be careful. If it is a hotter, the lap time should be a little slower. So we started off with uh, quite slow ones, to be honest. 111s, 110s. And then we were rocking in the 109s. And I couldn't get past... Uh, you can't actually see it because my head's in the way. So let's get rid of that for you. A 19.604. So that was the fast I do. Got a 7 in there. Got another 6. Got another 6. And a few tens in there where I was testing off tracks. A few weird off tracks around here, but we'll go over that as we get to it. Otherwise, uh, have a look above, which you can't see me anymore. I'll get myself back. Hey. Uh, have a look above uh, because uh, if you want to join my Discord, I do have a uh, rather nice link to a spreadsheet there where you can see what track guys I'm doing, when I'm doing, and what I'm scheduled to do, and what I've already done in the past. So there is a few skippy ones that I have already done. So if you are missing a track guide for that week, have a look on my Discord on that link, and you should be able to find it. Not a problem. Um, otherwise, OLAP, BLAP, uh, Telemetry, and Replay File will all be in my Discord under the Lap File section. So, yeah, come and say hello. Otherwise, enough waffling. Let's crack on with the guide. Right then, Hockenheim Ring Short A layout. Quite a good fun circuit, this. I did have fun uh, going around it. But we're hunting down turn one now, and about halfway between the 100 and the 50 board, you want to stamp on the brakes ever so slightly down to fourth, and you want to give that little red curb a little cheeky tickle as you go past. And this... That's the closest I've ever been to this off track without actually getting it. So I wouldn't advise going out there too much. But if you do need that extra bit of lap time, take that off track. Uh, end of the red and white curb in here. Just before it ends, you want to stand on the brakes all the way down to second gear. Now, I tend to turn in early here. Let the understeer slow down the car and get on full throttle before that apex bump there. Just as the curb ends and that slip road, service road thing there is, uh, it, it starts. Basically, you want to get a good exit because this is arguably longest straight full throttle zone on the circuit. So good overtaking opportunity down it here. Going to slow it down here. You want to stay as far left as you can. As the curbing ends, transfer to the other side of the circuit and break in a straight line just at the midpoint of the track. Bring the car to the outside of the left-hand side and then you're perfectly lined up for this tricky turn eight. Once we're back on the original circuit, be careful not to run wide here because there's a lovely concrete wall just there to meet us on the left-hand side. This turn eight, sorry, that was turn seven previous. Turn eight now is absolutely flat out because we're not going to have the approach speed as we usually would on the full layout. So you can take that full throttle, change into fourth as soon as you can. Coming down now into turn nine where Vettel made a mistake a few years ago. The barrier, barrier, why do I keep calling it barrier? The curbing on the right hand side just before it starts. I don't use the 50 board, it's too far back. Second gear, get into the uh, camber of the corner, really helps rotate the skippy round here. Use all of the exit curve as best you can. And now we're into the S's section, which are absolutely flat out because we're in the acceleration zone. Just after this apex, don't worry about hitting it too much, but bring the car to the left hand side. When you're at the left hand side, you want to straighten the car and brake nice and easily. Third gear all the way through this section. Give the curb a cheeky little tickle on the way through and you can actually run a little bit wider here i leave a little bit left on the table which does push me wide on this exit but it doesn't affect lap time too much but that's just one to tweak take a wider entry and gives you a tighter uh, line out on exit instead of using all this curving here but up into fourth gear full throttle now to the line and that is the lap over as quick as that and that is a 109604 so that is the lap over and done with so yeah quite tricky try tricky to get some of these corners right and it's quite a quick lap as according to the pdf there is only 15 laps here so this is going to be quite a rapid race if that's the case um but yeah i think it's going to be quite a good skippy track to be honest i think overtaking is possible particularly down that back straight it does seem to be the longest section whether it's long enough to get a good slipstream past people i'm not sure but yeah should be good fun be careful of dive bombs in turn two i think that'll be a definite killer down there and as i said at the start be careful of pit, uh, people coming out the pit lane. Uh, otherwise, everything will be in my Discord, including the uh, the schedule for the rest of the season, and I'll update that, update that for future seasons going forward. And obviously, the lap files will be there for you to use as well. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.